Alrighty, so if you want to come up top, we'll start yep. with the settings and kind of work our way down. Okay. Alrighty, so starting from the top, I have you on closed right now. That means it's closed mode, it's nothing's going to get in or out, that's for winterizing, but we'll start back at the top. So filter, this is going to be the main setting, you're going to use it about 95% of the time. Uh, swimming, or if you end up getting one of the automatic cleaners that goes around for you and sucks up the debris, what it will do is any debris that goes through the skimmer and through, it will get stuck in here okay. and stored in here. Is that all this is? It's just a... This is just a big thing of sand, and then it basically just filters everything and gives you clean water back out. Okay. Um, we'll get to a point where you'll know when you have to change, or not change it, but clean it out, which yeah. is also very simple. That's lock. Waste. So this is great for manual vacuuming, picking up large piles of big debris on the bottom. Say, you know, you have a big chunk of concentrated leaves in one area that are all in a mm -hmm. pile. You can use the waste feature, and what it will do is suck up all the debris, but bypass the tank. Oh. So that way you're not gumming it up as quickly, and then it'll shoot it all at the blue hose. Um, so Joe, I believe, was just talking about running the blue hose straight back, which is fine, and then just dumping everything back there. Okay. Now, anytime you have water coming out of the blue hose, you're going to need to fill the garden hose in the pool, because you're going to be losing a little bit of pool water as you do this. Oh, I see. Yeah. So with winter mode here, there is a drain cap, which is on your side down here at the bottom. Come closing time, you're going to take this off while it's on winter mode, and leave it off for about two days. It leaks, it drips like a leaky faucet, just a constant drip. Once it finally does stop dripping, you leave the cap off and you flick it to close mode. Okay. Anytime you're moving this handle, you'd want to shut the pump off, which the on off switch is just on the back of the pump, uh, right here. Okay. And then you just switch it off, select the desired setting on the filter that you want, and then turn the pump back on. It's a lot of stress if you leave it on and you turn it off. Best to check for dirty bugs. Oh. Yep. Like you, dirty bugs. <laughs> Backwash. So this controls the amount of debris that's in the tank. Okay. You have your pressure gauge up front here. You're going to be running about 12 to 14 psi. Once okay. you start seeing it creep close to the 30, the tank on the inside is getting full, and you're ready for a backwash. Okay. So again, so you'll the backwash to get out the junk. all the junk that's inside the tank. Got yeah. it. So you'd run the blue hose out again. Water's going to come out, and it's going to all the debris. You do that for about 45 seconds to a minute, and you'll see your pressure go back down to where it was with the 12 okay. to 15. That's minutes. not a big. Nope. Pro procedure. No nope. one. You probably don't have to do that. I mean, once the leaves really start falling for you, but during the heart of the season, you probably do it once every three Honestly, weeks. Yeah, this time of year, we put the stupid cover on because yeah. it just becomes like a nightmare. Yep. Yeah. We circulate. This feature does way more harm than good, okay. so we just pretend it's not even there. Okay. And rinse is the final setting. So you have the waste in the backwash. Anytime you do more of these, more uh, sorry. Anytime you do these, a combined total of three times run a rinse cycle afterwards and it gives it the ability to purge any bugs or leaf that might have got stuck inside. Okay. Only do that for about 10 seconds and again it's going to come out the blue holes. You got that? Yeah. And that puts you back at filter for the top. So then we'll go over to the pump. 